Hello, Ken Hoggins, kenswineguide.com, and I'm here to tell you about the uh, high-end red wine tasting results from last night's tasting. Last night we tried 16 wines, and um, we're going to tell you all about the winners right now. The first uh, five wines that uh, came in were the 92-pointers, and we're going to start with those right now. Here's the Maryvale Profile 2009, Joseph Phelps Insignia, Clark and Claude in Eternity, Pina, Firehouse Vineyard, and Schaefer Hillside Select. These wines all came in at 92 points. And you might have figured they might have been in the winner's circle, but that's not exactly what happened. So then we move on to our final seven wines um, that received, most of them received uh, 93 points. And here we are with the Linked 2008. That's a new wine for us uh, from the Knights Valley. Uh, Spring Mountain Elevette, a nice red blend, 2009, came in at uh, 93 points. Tom Eddy always shows well. His 2007 Napa Valley um, rolled in uh, with 93 points as well. The Alpha Omega new entry this year um, came in at um, 93 points. This is the Era, the Era wine. Uh, Dariush, which always seems to finish very well in our tastings, uh, came in with 93 points. The uh, Signature Cab, 2009. Then we have the Pritchard Hill uh, from Chapelet, 2009, also coming in at 93 points, uh, comes in second place. The difference between these wines, between second, third, and fourth place, were fractions of points based on the panel's scores. But our winner came in with 95 points, turned out to be one of the best value wines of the year, and that wine is the Lahoda. Lahoda Vineyards 2009 Howl Mountain Cabernet. This wine scored 95 points with the uh, panel. It's all gone, and it only cost $50 a bottle. And uh, it was a shocker, uh, and everybody's looking for it. Uh, that's it. Ken Hoggins, kenswineguide.com. Hope you enjoy these wines. And have a nice holiday season.